Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? I'm in the Magic Trailer, and this is one aspect of many that this Magic Trailer shines. So I'm on a job site. I unexpectedly, it was on the list to cut down doors, but I assumed all the doors were functional. And so what I realized was, now that I've got the doors in, there are some sliding doors on some closets. And of course they have that guide at the bottom that we'll have to screw down into the floor. And these are the screws that are with it because it was just down through like vinyl tile. And so they're three quarter. And I'm going to need something more significant because now we have carpet and padding there. And so the magic trailer shines in the fact that I have a pretty solid hardware store to find something in that diameter. So it looks like a number six, possibly a number eight, and I'm gonna have it longer than three quarters. Let's see what I got. Pay dirt, and a whole bunch of them. Number eight, inch and a quarter. And so I have, well, you can't see that. That's gonna work. Yay. That'll get me down through the carpet, into the wood, and have a little bit of room to skewer. And it's a wood screw, which is what I was looking for. All right, cool, yay. The magic trailer delivers. No trip to the hardware store for me because it would be an hour. Unhook the trailer or take the trailer. Go to the Lowe's, find it, come back. Oh my gosh. Yay! Yay! I can make a video now with the extra time that I have. <laughs> hey, if you would, like and subscribe. Y'all take care. Have a good day. Okay, then swinging around here is my last Vutainer shelf, and that is effectively a hardware store. I had some, uh, I had a lot of space here at the end of this particular cabinet, and so like Ron, I went ahead and uh, took his idea and just created a Vutainer shelf here. Although he actually has Vutainers, again, I don't have Vutainers, so I kind of made it a multi-purpose. Okay, so the dimensions of this thing, it is effectively 24 inches wide. It is six and a half inches deep without worrying about these uh, retaining, retaining strips. And it is from bottom all the way up to the top, which is, I guess, effectively the height of my cabinets would be 65 inches. And these are not all evenly spaced. As far as the shelves go, what I have is, of course, the top is open. The next shelf from the bottom of the shelf to the bottom of the shelf above it, this is six and a half. This would be a measurement of seven and a half. That would be a measurement of seven and a half, and this would be a measurement of seven and a half. This shelf down here would have a measurement of nine inches. Then I would have that shelf at 11 and the bottom shelf at 11, which allows me to store taller materials and to be able to get them in, take them out. And that's why I did not evenly space these because like I have larger jars there, but yet up here I have only smaller jars for them. Oh, actually there's a larger jar. Smaller jars all up here and smaller jars all up there. And it affects on how you actually take these jars out. There is kind of a minimum clearance that you can hit and then make the shelf useful. So, uh, and I did the open, uh, the open lip here so I could actually see inside of there. Whereas down here, because it's well below eye level, I can go ahead with a solid strip because I can just reach in there, see in there and see what's going on. Now I won't bother with the hardware, but down here is all really the deep storage that I have. So I have a few extra containers. I have some uh, CA glue and activator, some large, uh, uh, large storage chalk, some uh, extra glues, a little bit of paint, some great stuff, and my extra magic erasers. On the second shelf, I basically have a little bit of uh, bulk screws and nails all the way through. These are just old um, uh, knobs and, and uh, uh, I guess, uh, bifold door parts. I have some chain, uh, all that chain that we end up getting that's extra from hanging lights, uh, some wooden dowels and some furniture pieces, and I'm really happy to have kept a lot of this uh, pull chain material and you know with the uh, with the connectors and so I have gone to this quite a bit to actually uh, create longer chains, shorter chains, attach you know whatever to it so I've been very happy with that. Then this up here again is just bulk storage uh, where I have some of my larger construction screws or overflow screws as well. And this is really the bulk storage. Beyond that, it becomes my hardware store all the way up from there. Okay, well, 